distances we traced coastlines and sailed uncertain seas we crossed ocean straits drained by an ice age into every corner of earth we ventured looking for places to put down our roots to raise our families or just to see what was there. Today, it's the final frontier that fires our imaginations. With so many stars in our galaxy, we make a simple extrapolation that the cosmos must be filled with worlds like ours, with life, even intelligent life. This so-called many worlds view goes back to ancient times, to China, India, Greece, and Egypt. The Quran, the Talmud, and many Hindu texts all imagined a universe full of living beings. It wasn't until the 16th century that the idea became grounded in concrete notions of the physical universe. Astronomer and mathematician Nicholas Copernicus declared that Earth revolves around the Sun. That opened the way for the Italian friar Giordano Bruno, a natural philosopher who believed that the universe is eternal and without end. He held that there is a multitude of worlds with diverse life forms, including intelligent beings. Bruno's outspoken challenges to church doctrine got him executed in the year 1600. His ideas gained support when Galileo Galilei used his telescope to show that our sun is just one among countless other stars. By the modern era, the many worlds view held sway in scientific circles. New telescope technologies gave us a view of vast star populations within our galaxy. As the astronomer and author Carl Sagan noted, given the sheer number and diversity of stars in our galaxy, it's far more likely that the universe is brimming over with life. 